So previously we looked at using the built-in candlestick patterns, which do come in handy. But now we're going to look at how to kind of design your own. So I have a little illustration here of an example. And all you really have to do is kind of quantify what's going on here with these candles. And so let's say that this, you know, is a type of candle that we want to enter in on. What we're going to be doing is comparing this candle to the previous candle, okay? So let's look at how we can do that. Let's keep this kind of over here. Cool. So we can remove this one because that was the built-in pattern indicator. We just have 50 or you know EMA1 is greater than EMA2. So let's add a new uh, condition. So we're gonna be looking at this candle, comparing it to the previous one. So the first thing we can do is look at the high, okay? So we know that the high is less than a previous high, okay? So let's do price high is less than price high one bar ago, okay? So price high of the current bar is less than the high one bar ago. Next, we have the low. So the low is less than the previous low. So low is less low one bar ago. Now we just have the open and the close. And in this case, the open and the close are both greater than the previous low. So price close is greater than price low one bar ago. And price, make sure they closed last time, right? Yeah, close. So price open is greater than price open one bar ago. And so if the pattern includes more than one candle, that's whenever you have to start messing with the bars ago. You know, maybe it'd be two, three, four, and it can get kind of complex to design, you know, a whole pattern. It just kind of depends on what you're looking at. But it's easier if you just draw your little picture of the type of pattern that you want to kind of, kind of quantify. And then you can create that over here uh, in the builder. So cool. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.